In these uncertain times, the rapid changes and lack of stability in our lives might leave us feeling fatigued. The world we once knew is no longer stable, which causes us to search for a firm foundation. Let's be honest, what if this shift signifies a profound inward reinvention rather than a breakdown? Nevertheless, a new age on Earth begins this year. We are transitioning from the considerably smaller 3D to the much larger 5D. Consider the case of childbirth. You are in the final, crucial moments before a new life begins. The anguish may be so intense that it seems like everything is spiraling out of control. Nonetheless, this energy is a step towards the excitement of a new life. The changes we are witnessing in our world are comparable. The daily occurrences of earthquakes, floods, and fires are not only extremely harmful to the ecosystem, they are symbolic of the planet's purging of the outdated thinking that led to our current predicament. On Life Goals Reassessment You could discover that while we go through these adjustments, you need to reconsider the obligations and aspirations in your life. Things that you formerly considered to be extremely important might now not be as important to you anymore. You may choose to give up material things and social norms in order to simplify your life. This transformation isn't limited to the outside world. There's a profound shift occurring within. Understanding who we are outside of our physical bodies is important. We are spiritual creatures traveling through this existence. A broader, more spiritual perspective is replacing the limited third-dimensional understanding of life as a struggle for survival. A broader, more spiritual perspective is replacing the limited third-dimensional understanding of life as an effort for survival. It is easier to understand our interconnectedness with everyone else in the fifth dimension. Our actions, emotions, and ideas affect the environment we live in. However, how can we deal with this shift without caving into resistance or fear? The secret is to embrace these internal shifts. Things in your life that formerly gave you joy may become a source of boredom. Recognizing and accepting these thoughts is crucial. The New Earth advises us to break free from old relationships and take a route that aligns with our actual purpose. Yes, it might be unsettling to watch how the world is changing. However, what if the goal of these modifications is to strengthen rather than weaken us? What if dismantling the old world opens the door to a more genuine, compassionate, and connected you? Embracing chaos for growth. Life may often seem like an unending storm of uncertainty and chaos. Our initial instinct in these circumstances could be to flee and resist the turmoil. Consider how this turmoil can be the best thing that allows you to evolve and grow in a world that is always changing and upsetting. Inside of you, change is the great sculptor of the cosmos, tearing down the old and crafting a brand new masterpiece. In her wise writing, Dolores Cannon refers to this transformation as a journey from the third dimension's complexity to the fifth dimension's simplicity and depth. Dolores Cannon extensively studied and experimented with the quantum healing hypnosis technique, also known as QHHT. She reached far into human consciousness and discovered details of this dimensional transition. A simple existence, on the inside as much as the outside, is a message from the New Earth, as Cannon demonstrated in her books such as The Three Waves of Volunteers and The New Earth. It's an echo reminding us to eliminate unnecessary items and concentrate on aligning with the fifth dimension's energy. The push for simplicity is more than merely getting rid of as many possessions as possible. Additionally, it involves purifying our souls, emotions, and thoughts. It's similar to cleansing your soul of negative influences, paralyzing anxieties, paralyzing self-doubt, and the weight of the past. Harmony with the New Earth being free brings you into harmony with the new frequencies of the earth, allowing you to wake up every day feeling lighter and closer to your actual purpose. Cannon's lessons force us to ask ourselves, do we really need all of these things, things like products, duties, drama, and distractions, or are they merely getting in the way of enjoying life's ultimate simplicity and joy? Past traumas and unresolved emotions may resurface as we evolve. It seems as though the cosmos is asking us to acknowledge these things and giving us time to heal these scars. Accepting these unpleasant emotions could assist in your deep healing rather than making you want to escape them. According to Canon, our nature is a complex web of light and shadow, and our greatest development occurs in the shadows. She reasoned that healing these ancient wounds, perhaps by journaling or communicating with our higher selves and spirit guides, 
is essential to realizing our full potential. The healing process begins when we acknowledge and address these emotional environments. This lets us see beyond emotional walls to our actual selves, which are like precious gems just waiting to be discovered and accepted. Give yourself over to the shining light of self-awareness, which will release you from the ties of the past. It is important to ask yourself a couple of questions. What can you learn from these emotions that keep lingering and won't go away? Are you caught up in old thoughts and habits that are holding you back? If so, make room for a new, bright existence by letting go of your old self, much like you would with a worn-out coat. This is a thoughtful and compassionate thing to do for yourself. Ultimately, all that you do, feel, and go through matters significantly. Pain is not a sign of despair. It's an indication that you need to develop yourself and learn valuable lessons. You build your own story, one that is tough, intelligent, and strong, when you accept that things are not going as planned. To explain this further, think about how a caterpillar has to navigate through the cocoon's darkness in order to transform into a beautiful butterfly. This is the same as what you have to go through. These are indications that you are evolving into your real self. Therefore, as hard as it may seem, embrace the suffering, embrace the unknown, and let go of the past. Intuition as a guide. As you embark on this personal adventure, allow your gut to lead the way. You may get promptings, epiphanies, or flashes of intuition that inspire you to make life adjustments. These are not simply made up tales, these are actual events. They are invitations to emerge, glimpses of your true self. You may communicate with the knowledge of the cosmos through your intuition. Give in to its calling, cherish it, and allow it to guide you to the route that was intended for you. Polaris symbolizes your intuition. It is there for you no matter what, and it helps you through the toughest nights. That calm voice can be heard through all of the commotion in the outside world. What prompts you to choose is the subtle tugging at your heart. Logical reasoning is not as significant as natural understanding. However, how frequently do we overlook this priceless gem? How frequently do we dismiss these instincts because we believe they are unfounded or crazy? How many times have we disregarded the guidance from our souls because it deviates from common sense or social conventions? It is a vital component of who you are, serving as a conduit for the infinite intelligence of the universe and your conscious mind. It's a blueprint that directs you toward your genuine purpose and a life that reflects your soul's nature. Think about it. Have you ever followed your instincts and found that you were correct? Have you ever followed your intuition and found yourself on a route that was unexpectedly full of blessings and coincidences? It takes effort to follow your instincts. It is a divine talent that may lead you to incredible discoveries. During this period of transition, your intuition will be crucial in guiding you through the portions of the process that you are unfamiliar with. Embracing Personal Transformation when the old guides become useless, there will be new ways that will guide you. In times of uncertainty, it will serve as your fortress. What are some ways to increase your level of intuition and trust? To start, the answer lies in reducing the outside noise. Every day, schedule some time for peaceful activities such as meditation, walks in the woods, or just silent sitting. The voice of your intuition becomes louder when you're feeling at ease. Next, practice listening with an open mind. Don't reject or give an intuitive understanding too much thought when it occurs to you. Rather, reflect on it, allow it to ring true to your heart, and allow it to develop organically. The more often you practice this, the stronger your intuitive relationship becomes. Consider saying yes more often. Like yes to the unknown, yes to changes, and yes to the emerging new self. Even in painful situations, the ego seeks to resist and cling to what is known. But what would happen if you accepted the change? What if you gave it a warm welcome? What if you saw these shifts as opportunities for personal development and as a means of discovering who you really are? Accepting your metamorphosis is akin to walking on a wonderful carpet that will carry you to unimaginable realms. By doing this, you are expressing to the universe your readiness to develop, transform, and become your most authentic self. It is common to be resistant to change. After all, there is a reason why the comfort zone exists. It feels familiar, secure, and comfortable. However, 
The reality is that staying in your comfort zone prevents you from growing. It occurs when you take a risk, push yourself to the edge, and acknowledge that there are a lot of unknowns in life. It's the same for the example with the caterpillar. The caterpillar does not resist the transformation into an entirely novel species when it lies in a cocoon. The reason it lets go of its caterpillar shape is that it knows it will transform into something more wonderful and carefree. Since it understands that it will emerge as something even greater, it allows itself to evolve. This is the same for your personal journey. Your transformation is a reflection of this process. Your route to becoming the best version of yourself includes all of the changes, challenges, and uncertainties you are currently facing. Every diversion, every impediment, and every disappointment is a stepping stone towards your own progress. The challenge is, how can you get more enthusiastic about your change? Have an open-minded and curious mentality. Consider asking yourself, what can I learn from this as an alternative to running away from change out of fear? And how can I develop from this experience? Face your fear of the unknown head on. Consider it an adventure. The rules of life have been carved in the language of change, and it's like receiving an invitation to dance. When you accept this offer and let go of the urge to be completely in charge, you become a co-creator of your own destiny. Higher self-connection. When life sends you storms and winds of change, don't panic. Picture your higher self as an elderly sage person who exudes profound knowledge and kindness. When you establish a connection with your higher self, you get access to a wealth of wisdom and understanding that may lead you through difficult times and act as a beacon in the middle of the ocean. Your higher self stays steady and flashes a brilliant light through the darkness when things appear unclear and the waves of change seem too much to grasp. It's crucial to examine yourself, listen intently, and have faith in the knowledge gleaned from this boundless reservoir of information. Discovering Soul Tribe As you progress towards a 5D consciousness, you could experience moments of loneliness or feel overwhelmed by the enormity of the quest. Finding and connecting with those who share your journey is crucial. Remind yourself that you are not the only one on this journey. You are a part of a vast ocean of spirits, each traveling a different path. Make friends with other travelers whose experiences are similar to yours. Reaching out to individuals who can encourage, assist, and make you laugh shouldn't be a fear. By working together, you can create a vibrant network that benefits all parties and advances the community as a whole. As you navigate through the obstacles and inquiries that may arise, remember to treat yourself with the same consideration and compassion that you would bestow upon a good friend. Maintaining your health is not an extravagance. It is essential. Develop your body, mind, and soul as if it were a priceless oasis with an abundance of resilience and strength. Self-love and self-care are not forms of selfishness. It indicates profound insight. It is simpler for you to assist others when you take time to recharge yourself. Loving oneself generates positive energy that attracts positive things into your life. Living in the present moment. While being in the present moment is crucial, it's also necessary to be receptive to the opportunities and changes that occur with the shift to 5D consciousness. This is where your power begins. You may deliberately design and manifest the life you desire there. You may avoid being mired in regrets or anxieties about the past by keeping your feet firmly planted in the present. This helps you stay focused on the course you want to take. It helps you stay in the present which is the only authentic time when life unfolds and desires come true. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time if you are still with me. And if you would like, please think about subscribing to our channel. You may then receive updates on new videos that will provide you with additional knowledge, manifestations, philosophy, and personal development ideas. And never forget that we are always here for you and wish you the best possible life filled with success and happiness. I hope you have an amazing day. If you have watched until the end, please respond with MMM, Master Motivational Mindset, so we can connect.